Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, sitting here with my cup of coffee. Want to say hello and thanks for watching this video. Today we are, well let's take a look at this desktop here. I am not on the GNOME desktop, I am on the Unity desktop. How is it that in 2019, late 2019, I am on the Unity desktop? Well, I added myself. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Very easy to do. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it via command line and don't, you know, start freaking out that, you know, you want to GUI to do it. No, don't worry about it. This is pretty easy to do. But first, let's take a look at what we got going on here. You see, I got, you know, it's the Unity desktop. The got the old, uh, you know, the uh, the search bar that you're used to in G or in uh, in Unity. You can search our applications up there. We can go and let's open up Writer. We can open up an application and use the heads up display or HUD so that you can find whatever it is that you're looking for within the menus. Maybe it's uh, you want to make some changes to the comments, delete a comment, add a comment, whatever it is. Maybe you want to save it and you don't know where the save button is. Boom, there you go. All of that's working. Uh, you know, right here I'm testing this in a virtual machine just so that I can record the video and, and show you how to do it. But uh, I installed this on my laptop. Seems to be running fine. Really have not had any issues. Uh, there was one little graphical issue, but uh, it was really easy to fix. Um, and I'll show you how to do that when we do the install. But anyway, enough talking about, uh, you know, just what we got here. Let's get to showing you how to do this install. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I have Ubuntu 19.10 set up in a virtual machine. So open up our terminal. We're going to do all this in the terminal and don't worry, there's not a whole lot of commands to this. Um, and I'll leave the instructions down in the video description down below so that you'll be able to follow along. This is actually really easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is get your system updated. So sudo apt update and sudo apt grade put in your password and I already updated this morning so I shouldn't have anything to update no okay so now we're going to do sudo apt install and it is Ubuntu dash unit oh, can't spell this morning Unity dash desktop. And then we're also going to install the Unity Tweak tool. The Unity Tweak tool really isn't necessary, but it, it's very helpful for uh, tweaking the Unity desktop after it's installed, hence the name. So that's what we're going to install. Basically, those, uh, those two packages, although they they're actually going to bring in more than two packages, but so yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff that we're going to bring in. Uh, 338 newly installed packages. And do we want to continue? Yes. And we'll let it do its thing. So as this stuff downloads, uh, let me just explain the, um, we'll get to a point where you are given the option. So let me kind of back up a little bit. Um, Unity desktop, uh, it came with the, um, with, uh, the light DM, um, uh, display manager, uh, had a brain cramp there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> GNOME uses the GNOME display manager. So, we'll be given a choice of whether we want to stay with the GNOME Display Manager or switch to the Light Display Manager. I'm going to switch over to Light DM um, just so that you can see what it looks like. 
uh, gives you that, uh, I, I guess you'd call it the traditional Ubuntu Unity login screen. Uh, here it goes. So here you see where we got a choice and we can just use the arrow keys to pick which one we want. I'm going to go with the light DM, hit enter, and then let it complete. Okay, it's finished. Basically what we've got to do is reboot the system. So let's come up here and click the restart. Now if you're wondering about the odd screen size there, that is um, just because of running this in a virtual machine. Yeah, and this is the behavior that I got before. Um, running it when I when I initially tested this in a virtual machine. However, when I did this for real on my laptop, did not have that whole double login thing. So, not quite sure what that's all about, but something to do with uh, with uh, gnome boxes. But it is what it is anyway so here we are we are back into the unity desktop and you'll see you by hitting the window key you get the the uh, traditional i keep saying traditional you know those of us that have been playing with linux since the early days you know they we remember when unity was the new thing but anyway it gets you that that unity dash uh, for searching for whatever you want to find. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you got the, the, the unity, uh, dock, if you want to call it that. And, uh, even the, let me go and pull up LibreOffice writer. You can even, with the Alt key, go and pull up the heads-up display, which I always liked. This was the, like, the, I, uh, I've always been a GNOME Shell fan, at least as long as GNOME Shell has been around. But this right here, this heads-up display, uh, display, has always been the feature of Unity that I really liked. Because, um, you know, if you're using something like LibreOffice Writer, You've got a massive amount of, um, you know, menu options here. Uh, same with, say, uh, GIMP and, um, you know, a lot of your photo and video editors, uh, drawing applications, that sort of thing. And if you don't use that particular application all the time, you don't have all the shortcuts memorized, and you might have to search to try to find that particular uh um, action or feature or whatever that you're looking for. It's just really nice to be able to hit the alt button and type in, you know, to save the file. Or uh, comments, that kind of thing. So that has always been a feature that I really liked in Unity. Um, you know, I... It, like I said, I'm I'm a gnome shell guy, so um, you know I mainly put this on the laptop so I could try it out to see if I could pull it off. Um, I really didn't have the interest in running Unity, but I know there's a lot of people out there that you know when they got started in the Linux, they started out with the Unity desktop, and the whole time that they were running Ubuntu, it was always the Unity desktop, and then boom, Unity's gone and they're wishing for what they had before. So anyway, that, that's there for them. Now, one thing that you may run into, and part of this is going to depend on what theme you use. Let me pull open gedit. Depending on what theme you're using, you might get some weird looking uh, theming going on, uh, like you see here. And on some themes, that's not going to show up. On some, it will. The on the 
the ambience thing that you're using here, it, it shows up. Now you can fix that. Um, let me open up the terminal again. And let me go and check my notes over here. Yeah, there it is. So if you want to fix that, sudo and remove it's gtk3 dash no spell correctly no csd. Yes. So basically, this is this package right here prevents client side decorations. But with most of the recent themes, you want client side decorations. So hit that and we'll remove that package. Boom. And now let's open gedit. Actually, I think you need to go and reboot the system to get that to take effect. Hold on, let me do that. Or maybe you can just log in and log back out. But anyway, we're rebooting the system to see if it works. There it is. Yeah, you can see that the it's all cleaned up here. Now you may the the other look that we had, you may like it. I don't know, kind of up to you, but that does fix that whole issue. Now you are not limited to just uh, just installing this on um, you know regular Ubuntu. You could install it, you know, on. Zubuntu or Ubuntu Mate or any of those. Probably the cleanest way to do an install uh, would be to go and use the um, use the mini ISO or the server ISO and basically install just the base Ubuntu and then go and add the Unity desktop to that. Um, because there's not going to be any of the extra packages from, uh, you know, leftover from GNOME or from Mate or any of the other desktop environments. Now, the downside to going that route is going to be that if you're not an experienced uh, Linux user, all of the additional packages, the kind of behind the scenes stuff um, that you're going to need to install, there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, so it, uh, long story short for, for a newer user, even an intermediate user, I would not recommend it. Um, and you know, even myself, you know, yeah, if I wanted to take the time to do it, I could probably sit down and do it. Um, but I don't want to take that kind of time. Um, there's, you know, this is, you know, quick and dirty way to do it doesn't take too long to do it and it gets you the unity desktop and pretty well seems seems functional to me but anyway i think that about finishes this video up hope you enjoyed it as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below i'll get to it as soon as possible hope you all have a great day and i hope to see you all on my next video